Hey, welcome back to Triple R Random Rick Reviews. Uh, we're going to take a look at the two player starter set for Age of Ultron Dice Masters. Uh, Dice Masters has since switched to a big box format. Uh, we have like an X Men set, a Justice League set, and an Avengers and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. They're standalone box games. Grab it. And you have all your dice and characters you need. You don't have to collect or go down and chase. Um, these two player starter sets are also pretty good. Uh, if you just want to play a casual game and not have to worry about uh, deck building. Now the game is pretty fun. Uh, let's see what's in here. Alright. Okay, let's see what we got. Kind of already set up a little bit of it just to cut down on time. This is for your action dice. So these down here. Now let's see what characters we have. We have your checklist here. Our old Black Widow. For the Avenger side. So he's always uh, been a pretty good character. This one seems pretty solid as well. Black Widow can't be blocked unless your opponent spins down one of their character dice. That's pretty good. Team watch is the key word. And Black Widow can only be blocked by sidekicks. So, still pretty solid. Seems like in this set. And you have a Captain America. So he's more protective it looks like. By active, prevent all but one damage from your, from any action or character abilities. Gain some life. So there's a lot of non-combat damage in this game, which is kind of uh, kind of made it annoying due to a, a global effect rule it has, which I think was a, a terrible idea. You have Hawkeye. Cool. Iron Man and it's like Lady Thor. And for then you have Ultron. Vision and the action cards. You have a symbol, call them out. Honey strikes. Uh, what's this? Yeah. Alright, quite a few action cards. Also, problem the game seems like you're only going to see the same action cards over and over when the the collectible aspect was going on, which is, which is a shame because there's so many cards that you'll never see the effect of unless you're probably just casually playing. Um, real quick, you never play it I guess. This is the cost, you need to buy the, the card from your um, your setup. I'm not going to go over that, I'm just really doing an unboxing of this. Um, each time course corresponding dice. So you pick up Iron Man here and he would have these dice on him. Field. This is the character side. This is the energy side. It's so you buy more dice. And you have levels. So you cost one. And you have a four attack, four defense. And there's plenty of, uh, well, this is probably online too, but this is something to unbox, look at. It's the cheaper of the two player starter sets. That's why I grabbed it. Uh, I have grabbed the big box sets of Avengers and Turtles, and I think I'm just going to wait till the other ones go on sale. It doesn't seem like they're doing very well, but here is Dice Masters Age of Ultron set. Uh, I don't think this set was very popular. Uh, I'm not sure why the mechanics just people didn't like it, or maybe there's some bad interactions. So the cards are pretty cool in this game. 
Let's give you a good instruction booklet. With your attack zones and all that. So here's what your mat would look like. This looks confusing if you've never played the game, but here's like a online for a tutorial or a how to. Uh, they, they explain it pretty well. Here's your custom dice. And then your basic dice are those. I'll give you these really, really cheap paper bags to play the game with. So if you're playing the game, you probably have a, a cloth bag. And you throw all your dice in there and draw them and so on and so on. Um, if I was still playing the game, I'm sure I'm after this set, I would use a Black Widow. Because low cost is always good. You know, I don't know, it'll probably Hawkeye. Yeah. I'm really not happy that you only get a couple Ultron villains and no, nobody else. There's a five. Cost of field. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, I guess at this time, Vision was a, still a bad guy. All right, there you have it. Age of Ultron Dice Masters. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of like how to plays and reviews online. I just wanted to unbox it and let you guys know that this is the cheaper of the two player sets. Um, so if you want to try out the game and not have a huge investment, this is probably still under 10 bucks. I think I may have got it for like 7.99 even. Um, but they have the other flavors, they have DC superheroes and stuff like that, and Dungeons and Dragons, and even a Yu-Gi-Oh set, which I actually used to use. Um, the game is fun. If you're just playing casually, I think, uh, I wouldn't bother trying to collect and doing a chase, even though it's they're cheap and it's kind of a dead card game. Unless you really really want a character to put in there, but like if, once you use an OP stuff, then the other person has to use OP stuff, and it's just not, that's fun to me. Um, so, Dice Masters, if you're uh, into superheroes, like chucking dice, nice cards, it's a good game. Well, since we uh, did a superhero game, for you really quick, we can unbox the Versus System 2PCG New Mutants Pack. Uh, it's pretty cheap for the Versus System, uh, the second edition. So it's got 55 cards in it. So I recently picked up the core set. The game is more fun than I thought it was initially. Um, still have some gripes compared to the old one, but man, it's just, they're two different games. You can't really compare the two at all, really. Um, so let's see what's inside. All right, new mutants. Look at those five keywords. So now we have a Soul Sword, Equipment Token, Token's a bit of an odd thing in this game, I'm not a fan of so far, some plot twists, kind of like a finishing move kind of thing, and build ramp, and uh, I got a Warlock, 7-7, when Warlock attacks or defends, you may convert any amount of its attack into defense, or vice versa, for the combat. Alright, and he has one wound. Alright, Warpath. It's a very good card. Tough. When Warpath gets done, you may recover him. He has three life, which is... <clears throat> pretty high in this game. Uh, nine attack with three defense. So, probably will get stunned, but he's probably definitely stun him back whoever hits him. Uh, happy about that card. Alright, magic. Summon the soul swords. So Let's see what's, I guess, summon this token. So, well, then you will pay energy, wound magic, equip soul sword, equipment token on her. Okay. Feel a six six. All right, sunspot. It's a five drop. 
Start your main phase, turn any basic energy location phase down because you put three 1 1 counters on some spot. So that sounds good in theory, but <clears throat> in this game, for the most part, when people get stunned, they lose all their counters. Uh, X23, she is pretty good. Uh, Starting to turn her wounds, she's got two, that's good, so she heals. And when she attacks, she grows. So that's good. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, I am happy with this set so far. Karma. Can't attack or strike back. Uh, so she's just like a defensive wall. Oh, and someone else gains. When Karma appears, choose an enemy supporting character to gain passive until Karma gets stunned or leaves play. So they both just sit there. Mirage. Three. Cannonball. Wolf's Bane. Cypher. Two main characters. So we have X23 as a main. So it's just plus three while attacking with no cost. It's not the worst, I guess. Defense is low. She can heal all wounds, that's good. She only has three life though, so that's why. But eh, so so. That's our X. So, Professor X has three levels. <laughs> X23 has one. And Cable has two. So, I don't know how many of these characters I would run. Um, probably definitely happy about these two. These are good. But I really haven't played the game enough to like tell you what's what. Uh, I have used these in a, another person's deck and it worked out really well. So if you have him on six and maybe Spider, Spider Woman are both good six drops. And she's good on four as well. Alright, so there is the new Mutants versus System 2 PCG. Uh, this was, uh, I'm glad I picked this one up. Uh, I got some things I, I could probably use.